<laughs> Perfect Green by Nate Epler. A putting green, a ball, a hole, a flag. Molly enters, dragging her golf bag behind her. She gets out her putter. Al and Bob are nearby in the booth, though it's probably just a couple of stools on stage. Molly Michaels on 17. She's looking for a birdie here, Al. She's, if she sinks this putt, she'll stay one stroke ahead of the field. And the question is, will Molly Michaels hold on? It was an early lead for Molly, but the back nine hasn't been easy. Molly Michaels approaches the ball, and she steps away. <laughs> she's going to take her time here. She knows the pressure she's under, doesn't she, Al? She sure does, Bob. This putt for Bernie in the 18th hole are the only thing standing between her and the first, her first LPGA championship. She knows she can't force it here. She's looking for that perfect moment of silence when the ball and the cup... Hey, dummy! Yeah. What are you waiting for? Oh, it looks like the ghost of her dead father has joined us. <laughs> You are? You're a 
That's why your mother died of cancer. Oh. <laughs> Picking out the suits. <laughs> 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 Times, television testing every possible color combination. 
in the hopes that Daphne will notice and contact me via Facebook or yeah. my email, and I'll be able to safely leave my wife by jumping into a sure thing. <laughs> as a great sports commentator, your estranged children will suddenly see you in a whole new light. Two, you don't want me to get over there, do you? You do not want me to count to three! It's true. My two young sons are currently living with their mother and an investment banker named Steve. I think we've reoccupied with this fracture in my family. I believe if I could just put together the perfect sentence on the air that Maxon and Colbert will then be back into their little lives. Three! And Molly Michaels is up. Oh, Molly Michaels approaches the ball. This is definitely the moment where she is. And she just keeps walking. Surprise after surprise here on 17, as Molly Michaels is now zombie walking the perimeter of the green. <laughs>
Molly Michaels makes this putt, it means Daphne Daddario is still in love with me. Yeah. <laughs> make this worthy, I'll be able to say perfect sentence and Steve can kiss my ass. Yeah. <laughs> Do it! What are you waiting for? Molly Michaels approaches the ball and I think she's going to do it this time. She's determined. She's ready. She knows what's on the line. It's her own future happiness, professional career on her own, and this is not the sentence that's going to save my family. <laughs> Be the son I wanted. Daphne, I hope you're watching. Kiss my ass, Steve. <laughs> what's she thinking here, Al? She's imagining a beautiful, empty green vista where the golfers wander in whatever direction they choose, no longer tethered to the little flapping flags that dock their destinies. A green world where the sun is always at your back and never in your eyes. An island disconnected from any other landmass, alone but not lonely, not detached but free from attachment, isolated from the jagged monuments of the past, disconnected from the paralyzing cold snap of an unknown future. No holes, no clubs, no stars, no universe. A perfect green silence. <laughs> Hit the ball, dummy! Molly putts. A deep breath from everyone as they watch the ball roll into the hole. In the cup! In the cup! What I wanted to happen, happened! Molly Michaels, Brady 17. I love you too, Daphne Gattario! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 